Dubai is currently planning a 2,000 kilometer underwater railway to India, and Norway is building a highway tunnel that will float underwater. We live in amazing times, and on this episode of Build a Billion, we'll be diving underwater to see six of the most amazing underwater mega projects in the world today. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you want to hear about all the mega projects of the world, one billion at a time. Number six the world's largest undersea tunnel. The Seikan Railway Tunnel in Japan is a dual gauge railway that is also known as the deepest water railway line in the world. It lies 100 meters below the seabed and 240 meters below sea level, running beneath the seabed of the Segaro Strait. Of the 53.85 kilometer long railway tunnel, 23.3 kilometers lies under the seabed, making it the world's largest undersea tunnel. The project began in 1971 and was completed in 1988 with a total cost of $7 billion, 12 times the original budget. And the developers can thank inflation for that. The tunnel consists of two railway stations, which are the first two railway stations ever to be built under the sea and act as emergency escape points in case of a disaster. The stations come with exhaust fans to get rid of smoke, infrared fire alarm systems, and water spray nozzles. The seabed portion of the tunnel comes equipped with a pilot shaft, service shaft, and a main shaft. The world's largest maintenance base inside a tunnel is also located here at 16 meters wide and 19 meters long. Number five, the longest underwater highway tunnel in China. China's new underwater tunnel is open after almost four years of construction. It's called the Taihu Tunnel and boasts a length of 10.79 kilometers, located 50 kilometers east of Shanghai. The tunnel was built to alleviate traffic pressure next to Lake Taihu while providing economic development for the area. The tunnel cost $1.56 billion to build and over 2 million cubic meters of concrete was used to build the two-way tunnel. The tunnel has two lanes and is 17.45 meters wide with colorful LED lights on the ceiling. The contractor has eliminated noise and dust pollution by instituting a completely enclosed concrete mixing plant, using eco-friendly trucks, and using not-so-loud hydraulic pile hammers. The project is a part of the 43.9 kilometer Changzhou Wuxi Highway and was opened to the public in December of 2021, serving as an alternative highway from Shanghai to Nanjing. Number four, Atlantis, the Palm Dubai. The Atlantis is a luxury hotel resort located at the Palm Jubeira in the UAE. It has 1,548 rooms and two accommodation wings linked together by the Royal Bridge Suite. The Poseidon and Neptune underwater suites are two of only a limited amount of underwater hotel rooms around the world. Measuring 1,776 square feet in total, the upper entrance is on the ground level while the master bedroom and bathroom are underwater. The huge windows in the bedroom and bathroom face out towards the resort's Ambassador Lagoon, which is home to many exotic creatures. This allows guests to sleep with the fishes, but in a good way. It took $1.5 billion to build the resort, and during its construction, there were many obstacles to tackle. At the peak of construction, there were 10,000 workers working 2 million hours a month to get this thing done, two months ahead of schedule in 2008. Number three. Denmark Underwater Tunnel to Germany. The Femarn Belt Tunnel is a road and rail immersed tunnel and is being built 40 meters below the surface of the Baltic. At 18 kilometers long, it's one of Europe's largest construction projects costing $8.2 billion. When it's completed in 2029, people will be able to travel from Puttgarten in Femarn to the Danish port of Rodby in 10 minutes by car and seven minutes by train. This means no more one-hour ferry trips or 160-kilometer drives to get from point A to B. The tunnel will be positioned along the seabed instead of under it and will be comprised of 89 concrete segments, each 200 meters long. The segments will be towed, submerged, and then assembled in a trench 40 meters underwater. The 73,000 tons of segments will then be transported, placed in a bed of gravel, and then submerged in its resting place by a remote-controlled forklift. Number two, Norway's Coastal Highway. 
This is the nation's largest infrastructural project yet. The new highway, otherwise known as the E39 route, would connect Oslo to the coastal cities of Borg, Stavanger, Alessund, and Trondheim, replacing ferries with tunnels and bridges. But due to difficult geography, architects and civil engineers have been forced to come up with innovative ideas to complete the project. If completed, the mega project would break many engineering records, including submerged tunnels. The tunnels would be suspended from floating pontoons that would allow ships to pass overhead. Cars would enter at the edge of the fjord and then continue to descend until fully underwater. Along with this mega project is Rogfast. This is the first in a series of crossings that will connect the E39 route, linking Stavanger and Kristiansand with a 27 kilometer undersea tunnel. Once complete, this structure will reach 390 meters below the seabed, making it the deepest and longest undersea road tunnel in the world. Number one, underwater railway network from UAE to India. The UAE is no stranger to world records, and now they plan to create a high-speed underwater railroad from Mumbai to Dubai to transport passengers, oil, and other goods. The railroad will start in Mumbai and will likely end an hour away from Dubai. The concept is based on familiar technology that is applied to floating bridges, immersed tunnels, and offshore structures. The floating underwater tunnels will involve two concrete tubes that will be under the surface of the Arabian Sea. The tubes will be stabilized by attaching them to floating pontoons that will allow ships to pass. The tubes will be placed deep enough to avoid weather and water traffic while being watertight and able to withstand hydrostatic forces. Creating a vacuum inside the tunnels will create an environment for maximum speed for the trains due to minimal air resistance. All this seems like it may be more than the country can chew, but if completed, the 1,862 kilometer distance will be covered in a record two hours time. What do you think about these innovative underwater mega projects? Let us know in the comments below. Don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.